This little $10 website that you can build in like five minutes on WordPress is pulling in $5,000 and up web design leads for us. And I got to show you how it works. The only reason it costs $10 is all you have to do is buy a domain name, which you can probably get for like 10 bucks. So I talk a lot about the Google review app, you know, the little app where you can send a review link to a customer, which is like a tap on your phone. Well, I got to thinking, what if you could send the review link, but without the app? So I have this new friend, Mike, he runs an auto detailing business. I don't know if you saw my past video about like the water damage and the van and all the mildew and stuff. Well, Mike fixed that. And I, and he did such a great job. I was like, Mike, do you ever ask people to write reviews? He's like, well, I hope people write reviews. I was like, no, no, you gotta, you gotta ask them to write. You gotta send them a link. He's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a link. And so I was like, well, I'm going to go back and make you a review link. So I got a little domain name and it's like, as long as the domain name is like short and memorable, then anytime Mike wants to like send it in a text or an email or anything, you just type it in. No app necessary. Just type it right into your phone. And now you've got a link that takes people to their, to his Google business profile, a little form pops up and you can write the review. So it's so awesome. And it's a great way to lead into other paying services that you might want to offer. Like before you start sending out all these review links, why don't we take a look at your Google business profile, right? You can say something like that. And then that way we can get everything optimized and everything looking good before you start driving all this traffic with these new review links you got. And then while we're at the profile, we'll take a look at your website and make sure all that's dialed in. And so it just naturally leads into all of these other packages that you could be offering for paid services. So it's an awesome lead magnet. So I gotta show you how to build it. So I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see how all this works. And then right after that, I'll give you five like super quick tips on how to make the best use of this as a lead magnet. All right, let's check it out. All right, let me walk you through how to build this site. So I'm hosting everything over on SiteGround. I'll put a link down in the description to the exact uh, packages that I'm using at SiteGround, so you can check that out if you want to. But it doesn't really even matter what the WordPress theme is because there's basically no pages to the website. I'm just using a plugin called Better Links, which is free. So if you go to add plugin and you can type in Better Links and it's all one word, and then you'll see this guy right here and then just click add and now you've got better links installed. And so better links looks like this. And um, I added a category called review links and I had this example one here for Hutchins Mechanical, but I'll show you how this is actually working. So if I go in to Hutchins Mechanical, then there's a link right here. This big giant long link right there is the link that actually turns on, that, that sends people to the Google business profile ready to write a review. And I'll show you how that actually works in just a second, but target URL is where you put the review link. And I'm gonna show you how to get this link in just a second. And then the shortened URL is whatever your domain name is slash, and then I just wrote Hutchins because that'd be really easy for Hutchins Mechanical to remember. And now we've got a review link. So you go to your domain name slash Hutchins and then that'll just send people over to the Google review area so they can write some reviews for you. And it's super easy to remember. And one of the things that I really like about better links is it gives you this little statistics right here where you can see how many times a link was clicked and how many unique clicks it's gotten and everything. So you can just kind of look at this dashboard and see if people are using your review links, which is really cool. So kind of built in stats, totally free. And that is all you need to do for the website. Like it literally doesn't need any pages. If you want to put a home page on there or anything else, you can, but you don't have to. Like this is just like, this is all you need to get these review links to work. So then you need to figure out, well, how do I go in there and how do I get this link? Like, where does this link come from? So go over to, uh, I'm, again, I'm gonna put a link in the description to this as well, but there's a, a little Chrome plugin, a Chrome extension called Google Review Link Generator. So just add that into Chrome and it'll give you this little icon. That's, that's the little guy right there. So then what you do is just find whatever the business is. So I looked up Hutchins Mechanical. So I just did a search for Hutchins Mechanical. That's what they are. Their Google business profile is showing here. And then I'll just click on this, um, this extension and I get the link. So it just gives me this gigantically long link right here. So I'm gonna take this link and that's what I'm putting in this target URL area right here. So then that's all you do. So now you got everything is working. So this takes you to the Google business profile, the little form pops up and you can see what that looks like. In fact, I'll even do it right here so you can see what that looks like. So I do that and then this is the end result. And so I can just leave five stars, write a review, everything is good to go. So the only last kind of missing component is you need to buy a domain name and this is where the $10 thing comes in. So just get a domain name that's like super easy to remember. Like, um, I don't know, like all five stars.com. I'd probably never be available, but 
that would be like, oh my gosh, I just have it. somebody should buy <laughs> buy this domain name, buy all five stars.com. That's super easy to remember. It's ten dollars. I might buy it myself, <laughs> but like that's a really good one. You can get the .net, whatever. But um, imagine how awesome it would be if you could just say, hey, go to all five stars.com slash Hutchins, and that's your review link. And it's easy to remember. Put it in a text. Put it in an email. Any anywhere you want to put it, just just type it in, and then people will go over and leave you a review. So there you go. That's how you make these review links. So now we can make review links for anybody we want, whenever we feel like it, and just give them a link basically for free. But how do we actually get connected to the people that we want to give these links to in the first place? So I got five super quick tips that I think will be really helpful. The first one is if you don't see results right away, <laughs> keep going. I'm 100% confident. Like we're seeing people using these links and we're getting leads from them and it definitely works. So like if you get like a couple of people, like your first few outreach messages don't get responded to the way that you think they will, just keep doing it. Like this definitely works. So stick with this even if you don't see results at first. So that's tip number one, don't give up too soon. Number two, in-person beats online every day of the week. So like if you have the chance to go to a local meetup group, a networking event, chamber of commerce, BNI group, anywhere where you can see people in real life, just like a five minute conversation, like a two minute conversation in real life will build so much more trust so much faster than like months of online only outreach on like Facebook and LinkedIn and email and all that stuff. Like just try to meet people in person. It's the fastest, fastest way to build trust and actually make connections. So that's tip number two. Number three is, well, well what do you say when you go to an in-person event? Because I'm not naturally an extroverted person. Like I'm not shy or anything, but like I get kind of just, it kind of drains me to go into large audiences of people and try to make small talk and stuff, even though I know it's really important to do. And so I've come up with this thing that I call the three second rule. I'm not the only one who's ever done this. I, I don't forget where I heard it, but the, the, the idea behind it is if you see somebody that you want to talk to, talk to them within the first three seconds because the longer you wait, the more awkward it becomes. So like I was, I went to my, my girls play volleyball. And so I was at this volleyball game and I get up into the bleachers and there's this guy sitting next to me. And I was like, I was like, well, I'm going to talk to this guy. Like it turns out his name was Scott. He has a roofing business and everything. But, um, I, within the first three seconds, I was like, Hey, you got a commander shirt on. Cause like, that's my, my whole, my whole thing. So like the next tip is I just like blurt something out. Like I use this blurt technique where like, if I see something that's at all noteworthy, like the commander's football shirt or anything like that, I'll just blurt out, hey, you're wearing a commander's shirt. And then I'll stop talking. Like I'll just say the obvious. And then the other person says, oh yeah, you like the commanders? And I'm like, yeah. And so then we have this conversation, which is really cool. I, I met my wife with the blurt technique, by the way. So it totally works really well. And it's a great way to kind of introduce yourself to people in a fun way without feeling like a lot of like, anxiety building. I've only got three seconds. But if you didn't, like, so imagine you, you waited for like five minutes or 10 minutes and then I, st I talked to Scott. It's like, well, why didn't you talk to him before? <laughs> right? So like, like all this tension builds up if you keep waiting. If you just say something, then uh, next thing you know, you have this great conversation for the whole volleyball game. So then, uh, so that's uh, so three second rule, blurt technique. And then the next thing is listen for like problems, you know, so like Scott's problem with his, with the roofing business wasn't really a lead gener generation issue. Like his issue was like trying to find employees that just like don't quit and can show up and like just getting people to work for him. I can't really solve that problem. So like I didn't offer Scott anything like marketing related, but like I'm going to link you to a video in just a second where it sounds a lot like people are saying no sometimes when you start offering things, but those no's can actually turn into a yes and a booked call. I'm going to link you to a video about that in just a second. But, uh, but just kind of listen for problems. Don't, don't tell people services. Don't tell people prices. Just kind of get them to talk about what's going on in their business. And then you can say, hey, I've got something that can help. And then the last tip is offer the first step for free. So this, that's where this review link comes in, where their, their problem might have something to do with visibility or reach or lead generation or competitors coming in and crowding out the space and stuff like that. And reviews would really help them kind of like rise back up to the top and so you can say, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that I can do for lead generation, especially for local businesses. One big thing is getting more reviews. What if I just gave you a little, little review link? It would be like all five stars.com slash your business name. And then you can give them that. And then that opens the door to talking about their Google business profile and their website and all these other things that lead into paid packages, which is really cool. So here's the last piece of the, of the puzzle. When you're talking to people, especially if it's not live, like in person, but even if it is like this technique works in every area, but it's especially effective in like written messages, like text messages, emails, LinkedIn, Facebook, stuff like that. 
It might sound like people are saying, no, I don't need this, I'm already doing that. But if you can dig in a little bit deeper, those no's will turn into yes and booked calls and paying clients. So check out this video right here. I'll go word for word through a Facebook conversation that actually started out sounding like a lot of no's, but turned into a yes. So check this out and I'll see you right there.